This is great. We got the guys from For King and Country. We got Joel and Luke with us, and we're talking about the new album and subsequent tour, Burn the Ships. And I love the story behind where this came from, you know, and it comes out of history of all places. Yeah. Well, my wife uh, went through a season where she uh, struggled with uh, taking pills. She kind of accidentally got a- addicted to these pills. And when we were walking through that, went through therapy, uh, there was one particular night where she had this bottle of pills in her hand, and she said, Luke, I need to go and flush these pills. And when she said that, I was reminded of a story about an explorer uh, who went to a foreign land. And when he arrived on the beaches of, of this foreign land, he said to his men, hey, we're going to go explore the mountains. We're going to go explore the horizon. We're going to see what this land has for us. And uh, at that point, he realized none of his men wanted to follow him. You know, they just want ret- to return to what was familiar. Uh, Safety, to what was comfort. comfort. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. To the past. And... Uh, uh, a few days later, he calls all of his men back onto the shoreline again. And once they were all accounted for uh, on the beaches there, he gave his generals the command to burn the ships uh, because he says, we're not going to go back. We're not going to retreat, but we're going to leave ourselves no option than to see what is in our future, and to see what this land has for us. And for my wife, when she, um, when she took those pills and she flushed them, uh, that was her moment of uh, burning the ships. Wow. That is powerful. I wonder if they took out the rental insurance on the ships, though, <laughs> when they burned them. <laughs> they're, they're like... That's only something Wally would think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, sorry. That's a great story, but then I had a little <laughs> side trail there. Oh. But no, but in all seriousness, the whole idea of not going back yeah. to your past, I think there's that moment that we all probably should have of burning our own ship, yeah. you know, where we don't want to retreat to what's comfortable, familiar, and what can keep us stuck in the past as well. So like, what is your personal ship to burn then? I mean, I, you have to have thought about this as you go through this and you share the story about, you know, your wife, Courtney. Mm-hmm. And like, mm-hmm. so like, uh, you know, Joel, for you, have you had that burn the ship moment in your life? Yeah. Oh, good question, man. I don't think, I, I don't think we've been asked that. Yeah. It's kind of rhetoric. Who doesn't ask that? It seemed like a basic um, one. Well, we often ask it of other people, but I don't think it's been turned <laughs> around. <laughs> we sing in the songs, Wally. Right. Uh, you know, I think for me, it, it's more themes, uh, things that I, I need to, like comfort is a big thing that I just, uh, that there's a ship to burn. I, I feel like culturally even for us, but for me, this idea of of kind of finding a, a, a comfy place in life or relationship, um, because I, I think, you know, someone said you either, you either progress or you digress in life. And, and there's no real middle ground. You don't really get, you can't, if you're staying idle, you're actually kind of digressing. And so this idea of pushing forward relationship uh, with relationships into the unknown, pushing forward vocationally with music, like risking, taking chances, risk of failure, all these sorts of ideas, those are the times where I, you know, you want to retreat and the best thing I think we can do is just charge into the future. So Burn the Ships is the name of the tour. If the tour was an actual ship, who would be the captain, Joel or Luke? (laughs) <laughs> That's actually an interesting question because Who do you think jo- Joel uh, Joel is rambunctious and aggressive and very driven. Uh, I'm maybe a usual, usually a little bit more calm and steady. And so, uh, well, that's the hope anyway, because you don't want two of those people. But creatively for you guys, like I can imagine there's tension in that as well. And, you know, sometimes, or are you guys like just really synced up and on the same page a lot? We're pretty good. No. We're pretty good. <laughs> You're pretty good and you go, no. <laughs> no, I, we're, we're pretty good. No, you know what it is? We're pretty good no, at really. the the, the creative process as far as learning each other's strengths. Sure. But when it comes to directly, is that always peaceful harmony as far as in your opinions? We can disagree and it doesn't kind of ruin our day. If you guys are co-captains. That's How right. about that? There we go. Oh, that's very You get the beautiful. jacket, he gets the hat, it all works out. Yeah. You guys did Priceless, uh, the movie. Any chance of Burn the Ships being turned into a movie? Because it's pretty great. And you got the story of history that you could make into that. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, I really like this idea. We have never thought about that. Okay. Um, we are working on a film that it's a period piece. Are you really? Yeah. No way. But it's not. Are you gonna it's act- on land. Okay. Are you going to be in it again? That's the thought. So it's a Christmas musical. Oh. Set over three Christmases during the Civil War about two brothers who end up on opposite sides of the battlefield called Drummer Boy. Well, oh, that's pretty cool. And you've got that great song, Drummer Boy, that you guys do live as yeah. well. well. It's not our song. but Well, yeah, yeah, yeah I figured that. We wrote that song. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys, uh, if you decide not to be in it, I think you should have uh, Colin Farrell play you. Uh, Joel, I think that would work. Is that a well. thing? Is Colin Farrell? He's awesome. Oh, I, I know he's awesome, but I've never been referred to 
Oh yeah, I think it would Colin work. Farrell and and Luke for you, I would okay. go with Will Farrell. Yeah, I knew that that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> now, is that because I'm as Total funny setup. as Will, or just look like him? A little of both. Oh, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, Thank a little you. of both. They do works. have now. They they do have the very curly, tight yeah, winglet hair. Totally works. I mean, you look at me and you think Elf. I appreciate that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> His favorite film. Well, I want to see this movie, man. I'm excited to know you guys are working on another filming, and that's awesome. 